big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one. What is the big one? Yes, Frankie boy, it is the big one. And what is it? It is the old form. It is the biggest game in football. And if anyone wants to debate it, leave it down below. And well, the 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 comment section will school you. But I mean, if that's not enough, then the big Stevie C will uh, get the job done. But it is the old form preview, the big one. It entitles itself. It was the one of two, well, it's the two of two. It's the second leg essentially. Of the two massive games that we had, we dispatched of Liga Warsaw and a fantastic late winner, um, Alfredo, great header, and we're, we are in to Europa League group stages. We know our group now. It's a tough wee group. I actually like the fact that each team's decent and it's not like two teams are good and one's absolutely shit. You know what I mean? I, I, I actually like a competitive group. I mean, obviously, yes, it makes it harder for us to progress, right? But why, why do you want to be playing some team from Luxembourg that no one knows, right, and not progress, right? Just be, you get, you get my jest of things, you know what I mean? But in terms of this old farm, both teams are in relatively decent form. Celtic went a bit rocky, got knocked out the Champions League, had a really awful game against Dunfermline, managed to scrape through an extra time. But since then, they've kind of picked up a wee bit. I mean, not exactly, but compared to us, well, we've just, fuck, we haven't lost a game. So, I mean, if you look at it like that, you know what I mean? Both got 100% records in the lead in the league. Um, at the start, I mean, Celtic, what, 7-0, 5-2. I mean, the load, they've scored a lot of goals in the league. They beat Hearts 3-1 last week. Us, when we, we dismantled Hibs, we got a late goal against Kilmarnock. But, I mean, we won two crucial away games. You know what I mean? So, I mean, they won a pretty solid away game as well. I mean, beating Motherwell 5-2 is nothing to rip the piss out of. But... If you terms to look at the odds that Sky Bet have even got this, uh, I mean, we are by far the favourites, thirteen to ten. You know, what I mean, that is that is close to evens, two to one, not close to evens. You know what I mean? So the bookies even even think that we are um, the favourite, which is interesting. Lennon said, "I don't know how Rangers can be the the favourites considering Celtic have won every game, but." Well, more or less, so have we, you know what I mean? So I don't really get his logic, you know what I mean? I would definitely say momentum is on Rangers. See, after the Infernaloon game, see on the, I mean, a lot of Celtic fans are like, they would take, they would even take a draw in this game, and years gone by, the, 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 the case was, let's fucking smash Rangers, you know what I mean? In the first couple of seasons back in the Premier League, it was, let's smash them, let's just fucking win four out of four in the, in the season. Well, the three and then in the split. But now it's a different ball game. The, the, it's, we are we are a legitimate threat. I think we're going to win the league, right? That's my opinion. The Europa League, obviously, it would have actually not been too bad if we didn't get into it. But the money's great. Playing Porto, I mean, that's a massive game. Rangers Porto, I mean, that's mad. That's a massive game, like, you know what I mean? So it's obviously good. But it wouldn't have actually been that bad in terms of the league. It means we don't have to be playing on Thursday. But we've got the squad to cope. We don't have that many injuries. It would be it might be a problem if we start getting injuries but Celtic have got quite a few injuries indeed so I mean and they lost Tierney which is obviously going to be a big uh, prop but he'd, he'd have been out for this game anyway so I'm not going to sit here and try and say that well it would have mattered but oh it wouldn't have mattered but anyway 2-1, to 9-4, to 14-10 but in terms of my prediction I think right if we turn up and play it like, we, like we've been playing recently I think we could wipe the floor with Celtic, I mean, Cluj undone Celtic, you know what I mean, and they actually got Cluj in the Europa League group, which is uh, pretty interesting, like, but I think we're going to win, I'm going to go with 3-1, I think it's going to be a relatively, um, maybe, it might be close, I mean, I think what Isler, maybe I'm being a bit overconfident, but I'm just going to go with 3-1, I'm not going to say anything, we're just going to go with 3-1, kick off at 12pm, build up starts at 11am, can't wait for the bias, I mean, it's like, it's not even it is biased, it's just all they do slar about Rangers and never really say much about Celtic. I mean, I'm not bitter. I'm not not in any way, shape or form. It's just it's just the way shit is, you know what I mean? But regardless, kick off at twelve, so hopefully around half two there'll be a fed um up and there won't be blood pissing out of my wrists. But anyway, that'll do it for the preview. Three one, leave your thoughts down below. It's a massive game. We win this. Three points clear, a wee bit of a buffer, and also the mentality that we beat them, and that could send Celtic on a spiral they might not be able to recover from. But 
vice versa, it could very, very much happen to us, you know what I mean? So that's, that's it, but I'm looking forward to it. Till next time, peace.